What's up? Eric here, and tonight we're watching the 2011 gem, Insidious, on 4K. Now you know, I don't do horror, but I make an exception for this one. In fact, this is Caitlin's favorite horror movie, so it must be good, right? Well, most horror movies are rated R, but this is an outlier. It's PG-13. And James Wan, the director, he gets the most out of it. You may know him from movies like Saw or The Conjuring. He even stepped out of his horror comfort zone for a little Fast and Furious action. In fact, that's the one he, had, he was filming where Paul Walker, Paul Walker died unexpectedly. So sad. But he's a horror master. He gives you a hundred minute chilling experience that's worth every minute. Turns out there's something else about James Wan. He shares the same birthday as me. I like him more already. The movie starts out by showing your typical American family after they moved into a new house. But after the oldest son, Dalton, doesn't wake up one morning, all hell breaks loose. No one can explain why he's in a coma. But we soon come to realize that demons are trying to possess his body as his astral body has drifted off into the further. What ensues are the family's attempts to bring him back to the living. A great cast with Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Barbara Hershey, and Lynn Shay playing Elise. The film is really good, but being the first time in 4K, the picture really shines. From the bright day scenes to the scary nighttime scenes, the picture is almost flawless, as you would expect from a movie being only 12 years old. Most of the movie is at night, so the black levels are terrific. For a movie like this that relies on the creaks and stringy instrument sounds, the Dolby Atmos track adds to the creepy experience. Just hearing the music during the title screen gives me goosebumps. The audio definitely hits the right notes here. Special features are on the Blu-ray disc. They include the usual trailer and some documentaries, including being on the set with the cast and crew. I especially liked the steelbook packaging. It's very minimalistic, but you don't really need much. You got Dalton on the cover. You know what's funny? I always thought Dalton was a girl. I mean, but anyway. Inside... You have some drawings that Dalton made during the movie. Um, you can actually see these in the movie when he's in his coma. I thought that was pretty cool how they put them in the steelbook packaging. This is a superb 4K release. 9 out of 10. Well, Caitlin says 9.5 out of 10. In any case, it's a worthy pickup for all horror fans. Well, that's it for tonight. Stop back again for another review. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, bruh.